welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a fall tutorial look with some of the products that I got from Cosme D. So my eyebrows are done just because that takes a little bit longer. Um, but I'm going to start by priming my eyes. I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in light and I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes with this. And taking this RD stoop, I'm just going to blend that out. So now taking this Morphe E22 brush, I'm going to just set that with the RCMA No Color Powder. It looks like this. This is just so that my eyelids um, aren't tacky and the eyeshadow I put on top will have a nice base to be able to blend upon them. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, which is pretty much the only thing I've been using since I got it. And it is just for me the perfect fall palette. It's just right here. So I'm going to be dipping in to Real Gar right here. This look is going to be fairly simple, like really good for beginners that want to get into makeup and want to go ahead and start doing a full look. This is really going to be really simple for you to achieve. So I'm using a Morphe M441 brush and with that Real Gar color I'm just going to place it into my crease and above, blending it out. By the way, before I started my makeup, I did use the Fresh Umbrian Clay Mattifying Mask um, to prep my skin before I put on makeup. So this was also from Cosme D and it's absolutely amazing. So next I'm going to go into Red Ochre right there and it is a beautiful deep rustic red color. And I'm using the Morphe M433. And then I'm going to place that right underneath the real gar and in the outer corner and just blend upwards. Using this Morphe M209 brush, I'm going to dip it in Cypress Umber, which is that dark brown. And this one has a lot of pigment, so you want to definitely tap it off. And I'm just going to be placing this in the outer corner V and blending it outwards. It is super, super pigmented. So for my lid, I'm going to take Tempera right here with this Luxie 211 concealer brush. I'm just going to be placing that on my lid to brighten it up. I'm then just going to take that Morphe M433 brush and just blend the edges of that so there are no harsh lines. I like my inner corner and brow blown. I'm going to use Vermeer, which is the more champagne-y um, pink silver kind of shade, and just place that right there and the inner corners. I'm going to take this Milani liquid eye pencil and just tight line the bottom of my eye. I went ahead and applied some eyeliner off camera because I cannot do it for the life of me in front of a camera. Um, I used the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Um, so now I'm just going to apply some mascara and I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. And just some. We are going to be applying falsies. So I just want to put this on so that my falsies blend with my regular lashes. So for my face, I'm first going to use this um, Professional Matte Rescue by Benefit, and this is just for my oily skin. Then I'm going to go ahead and take this Zeno Instant Smooth Cream. I also got this from um, Cosme D, and I'm going to... Um, zoom you guys in so you could see how good this cream actually is as covering up and smoothing your fine lines and pores. So here we are, super close up, and I'm going to be taking the smoothing cream. I'm just going to start applying that to my cheek area. And you guys are just going to see how this completely just smooths it all out. Do you see that? 
this has become my like favorite pore filling and smoothing primer see my nose how it just makes the pores disappear do you guys see that how like smooth this area looks this has become my new favorite smoothing pore filling primer it just completely like smooths out my skin and blurs the lines and the imperfections it's just so amazing for my foundation, I'm going to be taking this L'Oreal Pro Glow in 205 Natural Beige. And I'm going to be mixing that with the NYX Cosmetics Pro Foundation Mixer in Olive, just because I am a little bit more tan than this foundation. I'm just going to put a pea-sized amount on the foundation and then just mix them together. I'm going to blend it all with my Beauty Blender. I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm going to start to conceal and highlight my face. So I'm going to be using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer. This is in light and I usually use this when I'm really fair but I want a very bright under eye. take this RCMA no color powder and bake underneath my eyes with that same beauty blender I'm just going to place that powder right underneath I'm also just gonna bake on the sides of my nose because that's where I get oily I'm going to go ahead and take my Givenchy powder and this um, True, no, Real Techniques blush brush and just set the rest of my face. Then I'm going to go ahead into this Too Faced Coco Contour Palette and just contour my nose. with that same cocoa powder and the Morphe M437 and just contour my temples up with that. We are going to bronze but I just want to contour the temples up first. So going to go ahead and contour my jawline. take my Makeup Forever bronzer with this Morphe M437 and M527 and I'm just going to bronze up my temples and forehead. My jawline. I'm going to take this Morphe M403 brush and just whisk away the baking that we were doing. Um, I want to whisk away the baking before I contour my cheeks and bronze them up. And then I'm just going to use this medium cocoa contour color and just contour my cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and just bronze with the Makeup Forever bronzer again on my cheekbones. I'm going to take this Morphe 9B palette and I'm going to dip into this shade right here and it's kind of a 
light plum color. I'm just going to place that in the apples of my cheeks and sweep it back. For my highlight, I'm going to go ahead and apply this Benefit High Bean onto the high points of my cheekbones. I'm going to take some on the brush and just put it on my beauty blender. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and blend it onto the high point right here. And you want to blend it in fairly quickly because it dries fairly quickly. I just turned it over just so that I can blend it in a little bit more. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit in That Gleam, and I'm going to be using Crushed Pearl and Starburst, so these lower two, with a Morphe M510, and just go ahead and hit the high points of my cheeks. It is fall, and I'm not one to super intensely highlight during the fall. I like more of a matte look. So I'm just going to concentrate up here and not bring it all the way down. My lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and go into um, Real Gar and Red Ochre at the same time the, with this Morphe E18 brush. And an, I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner only. So right on the outer corner, I'm just going to smoke that out there. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. Inner waterline, I'm going to go ahead with this Per Minerals Double Eagle Dual Ended Eyeliner. So it comes with a liquid side and it also comes with a stick side. So I'm just going to take the stick side and run that in my waterline. Um, it's a brown pencil so it's not going to give you such a stark black kind of look which is what I want. I want to keep the lower lash line um, soft. For my lips I'm going to go ahead and apply Dose of Colors Cork which is a beautiful matte brown. Um, I feel like this color is so perfect for fall and will complement the eyes so well. So I'm going to go ahead and start to apply that. So you can leave the look just like this with this very rustic lip or you can lighten it which is what I'm going to do because I am more of a nude type A, a lip person. I'm going to go ahead and take Sand from Dose of Colors and this is just a very nude lipstick and I'm going to apply it right on top of the cork and this is just going to lighten it up. Look, it's giving me like 90s vibes. I love it. After that, the look is complete, and that is it for this fall tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. The products that I use, such as the Benefit High Beam and the Xeno Instant Smooth Cream, as well as the mask, you can find at Cosmod.com. Again, it is a website that just has the makeup that we all know and love for a discounted price. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.